Barack Hussein Obama was born on August the 4th, 1961 in Honolulu, Hawaii. He was born to an American mother of European descent and an African father who he was named after. When Barack was six years old, he and his mother moved to Indonesia with his stepfather. He lived there for four years. While in Indonesia, he learned to speak the language fluently. At the age of 10, he moved back to Hawaii to live with his maternal grandparents. After graduating high school in 1979, Obama moved to Los Angeles, California and attended OCD Dental College on a full scholarship. In 1981, he transferred to Columbia University in New York City, New York as a junior and majored in political science with a specialty in international relations. He graduated in 1983 with a Bachelor's of Arts degree. In 1988, he enrolled in Harvard Law School where he was the first black person to be president of the Harvard Law Review. After he graduated, he became a civil rights attorney in an academic teaching constitutional law at the University of Chicago Law School from 1992 to 2004. Michelle LeVon Robinson was born on January the 17th, 1964 in Chicago, Illinois. Raised on the south side of Chicago, her parents rented the upper floor of her great aunt's house who lived on the first floor of the house. She attended Whitney Young High School she graduated in 1981 as the salutatorian of her class. After attending high school, Michelle went to attend college at Princeton University in New Jersey and studied sociology and African American studies, earning a Bachelor's of Arts degree in 1985. After graduating at Princeton, she went on to attend Harvard Law School and earned her Juris Doctor degree in 1988. She worked in nonprofits as the Associate Deans of Student Services at the University of Chicago, as well as the Vice President for Community and External Affairs of the University of Chicago Medical Center. In June 1989, Barack and Michelle met when he was employed as a summer associate at the Chicago law firm of Sidley Austin. Michelle was assigned for three months as Barack's advisor at the firm. She joined him at several functions. During that time, Michelle did not want to date Barack. Later that summer, they began dating and in 1991 became engaged. They got married in 1992 and had their oldest daughter Malia in 1998 and their youngest daughter Natasha, better known as Sasha, in 2001. During that time, Barack attended Harvard Law School. After graduating while teaching at the University of Chicago Law School, he turned to elective politics and represented the 13th District from 1997 until 2004 in the Illinois Senate. When he ran for the U.S. Senate, he received national attention in 2004 with his March Senate primary win. In 2008, he was nominated by the Democratic Party for president. After a close primary campaign against Hillary Clinton, Obama was elected president of the United States over Republican John McCain. Again in 2012, Obama was re-elected president, beating Mitt Romney. His presidency has been regarded favorable among historians, political scientists, and the general public placing him among the upper tier of American presidents. Also during these years in the White House as First Lady, Michelle has served as a role model for women and worked as an advocate for poverty awareness, education, nutrition, physical activities, healthy eating, and childhood obesity. Even after her time as First Lady of the United States, she is still fighting that fight. Barack and Michelle has made history as being the first African American President and First Lady of the United States. Alicia Garza, also known as Alicia Schwartz, was born January 4th, 1981. She's an American civil rights activist and writer known for co-founding the International Black Lives Matter movement. She is organized around the issues of health, student services, and rights. Rights for domestic workers, ending police brutality, anti-racism, and violence against transgendered and non-gender conforming people of color. Her editorial writing has been published by The Guardian, The Nation, Rolling Stones, and Truthout. She currently directs special projects at the National Domestic Workers Alliance and is the principal at the Black Futures Lab. 
Garza was born to a single mother in Oakland, California on January 4th. Her first four years were spent in San Rafael living with her African-American mother and her mother's twin brother. After that, she lived with her mother and her Jewish stepfather. And she grew up as Alicia Schwartz in a mixed race and mixed religion household. Garza identifies as Jewish. Her family lived in San Rafael, then in Tiburon, and ran some antique businesses and... She was later assisted by her brother, Joey. In her teens, Alicia engaged in activism, promoting school sex education and birth control. At Rutley and the University of California, San Diego, she continued her activism by joining the Students Association and calling for higher pay for the university's janitors. In her final year at college, she helped organize the first Women of Color Conference, a university-wide convocation held at UCSD in 2002. She graduated in 2002 with a degree in anthropology and sociology. In 2003, she met Malachi Garza, a transgender man and a community activist. In 2004, Alicia came out as queer to her family. In 2008, she married Malachi and took the name Garza, settling in Oakland. The Purpose of Power is Alicia's first book. It is her first personal book. It's her story, her background, her experiences in organizing, leading, and activism in general, and the birth of the Black Lives Matter movement. But it's also the story of the up most importance in organizing, participating, and actively working towards real change. Alicia believes that Black communities deserve what all communities deserve to be powerful in every aspect of their lives. An innovator, strategist, organizer, and cheeseburger enthusiast, Alicia founded the Black Future Lab to make Black communities powerful in politics. She is the co-creator of Black Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter Global Network, the strategy and partnership for the National Domestic Workers Alliance, and the co-founder of Supermajority. She shares her thoughts on politics and pop culture on her podcast, Lady Don't Take No. She warns you, hashtags don't start movements, people do. Ava DuVernay was born on August the 24th, 1972 in Long Beach, California. As a child, DuVernay's aunt, Denise, encouraged her passion for art and creativity. Her aunt worked the night shift as a nurse so she could pursue her love for art, literature, and theater during the day. She introduced DuVernay, the 1961 film West Side Story, and DuVernay fell in love with it. Although she did not pick up a camera until she was 32, Ava DuVernay has made history as a writer, director, and producer. She was the first African-American woman to win Best Director at the Sundance Film Festival, be nominated for a Best Director Golden Globe, direct a film nominated by a Best Picture Oscar, and direct a film with a budget over $100 million. Her work has made her the highest grossing Black woman director in American box office history. In addition to directing many TV shows, commercials, and music videos, DuVernay's films, <laughs> Selma the 13th, received critical acclaim and multiple awards for their portrayal of racial prejudice in the United States. She collaborated with Oprah Winfrey to create and direct the TV series Queen Sugar on the Oprah Winfrey Network, as well as the Disney live-action film A Wrinkle in Time. In 2010, she started her own film distribution company called African American Film Festival Releasing Movement, AFFRM, but rebranded the company in 2015 under the name Array to focus on racial and gender inclusion in filmmaking. In 2019, DuVernay created, directed, and co-wrote the Netflix drama When They See Us, this five-part miniseries based on the 1989 Central Park Jogger case quickly became Netflix's number one most watched series daily in the U.S. with over 23 million viewers during its first month of release and 16 Emmy nominations at the 71st Primetime Emmy Awards. Viola Davis is currently the youngest and the first African-American to achieve an Oscar, an Emmy, and a Tony for in an acting category, also known as the Triple Crown of Acting. Best known for her roles in How to Get Away with Murder, Fences, and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, 
In February 2020, it was announced that Davis would play former First Lady Michelle Obama in a new one-hour drama series called First Ladies for Showtime, as well as serving as an executive producer. Meghan Markle was born on August 4, 1981, to parents Samantha Markle, a descendant of an enslaved African, and Thomas Markle Jr., a descendant of an European settler. Born and raised in Los Angeles, Meghan would often visit her father on film sets where he worked as a television director of photography and lighting. This was Markle's introduction to the world of acting and film. After graduating from Northwestern School of Communications with a bachelor's degree in theater and international studies, she had a hard time finding roles due to her racial ambiguity. I wasn't black enough for the black roles, and I wasn't white enough for the white ones, she said in a CNN interview. Eventually, Megan landed her first role as a nurse on General Hospital. She went on to have small roles in television shows and movies, including Century City, CSI New York, and Horrible Bosses. Her big break came when she landed the role of Rachel Zane on the show Suits, where she was a series regular for seven seasons. Megan was also involved in a lot of charity work and philanthropic efforts. In 2016, she became a global ambassador for World Vision Canada, traveling to Rwanda for the Clean Water Campaign. She also took a trip to India that focused on raising awareness for women's issues. In 2016, Meghan and Prince Harry, grandson of Queen Elizabeth II, confirmed their relationship, and the pair announced their engagement the following November. The marriage ceremony took place on May 19, 2018, at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, giving Meghan the title Duchess of Sussex. She was celebrated as Britain's first black princess, and it didn't take long until the world looked at her as a fashion icon. Even as a royal, her philanthropy continued alongside her husband. They made many tours and trips around the world to not only strengthen UK relations with these countries, but to also promote climate change, women's rights, mental health, and cultural understanding, amongst other things. On May 6, 2019, the pair welcomed a son into the family, Archie Mountmatten Windsor. However, the fairy tale ending soon turned to a nightmare as the British publications attacked Meghan with racist, sexist, and classist stories. Eventually, enough was enough, and the couple stepped back from their role as senior members of the royal family, and now balanced their time between North America and the UK. Major Owens, former commander of Precinct 2 in the Cobb County Police Department, made his mark in history as the first African-American sheriff of Cobb County. Owens has been a resident of Cobb County for over 30 years, born in North Carolina and raised in the city of Atlanta. After he finished school, he went into the military, went to college, before coming back home to fulfill his dream of becoming a police officer. He served in the Cobb County Police Department for over 30 years before running for sheriff in 2020. When asked why he wanted to run, he had said that the incumbent had been in office for four decades and he had the right to be able to serve, vowing to not only produce results, but to be held accountable for not only his actions, but for that of his deputies as well. One of Mr. Owen's major stances with his, with his elections were to help improve the conditions of Cobb County's jails, promising to provide the basic needs of their inmates as well as help find programs to improve their mental health, along with also helping with the collaboration between the Sheriff's Office and the police. November 5th, 2020, he was sworn in as the Cobb County Sheriff.